Here, we need to solve an absolute value inequality and then graph the solution on the number line. Solving an absolute value inequality is pretty similar to solving an absolute value equation. Remember, if, we, if this was an equal sign in here, we would take this and split it into two equations, x minus 2 equals 4 and x minus 2 equals negative 4. We do something similar here, except there's one added thing you have to do. The first inequality, we just take away the absolute value brackets, and we'll solve that. The second one, we take away the absolute value brackets. You make this side negative and you flip the sign. So that's the little extra step. You have to flip the sign. Now we can go ahead and solve both of these. I'm going to add 2 to both sides here, and I get x is less than, sorry, yes, x is less than 6. And over here we're going to add 2. We get x is greater than negative 2. So we are graphing these two parts. x is less than 6, so that's going to be an open circle at 6, and then an arrow that goes this way. I'm not going to draw it all in, though. And then x is greater than negative 2, so again, an open circle here, and an arrow that goes this way. So the part that's the solution is where they overlap in here.